What's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today we're talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombie Chronicles. This is DLC 5, never before done in all of the DLC for Zombies maps. So we're going to talk about the full storyline here today. So drop a like on the video and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. And part of this really needs to be credited towards my man Wasu, I'll have him linked down there in the description box below. He's helping me over on Twitter formulate this. Yeah, follow me over on Twitter. If anything sparks an idea in this video, anything at all, hit me up over on Twitter, at Violent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. Now it is just some day in 2018, but we got the timeline to keep us busy as we're out there plowing away in the fields heavy every day in Chronicles, wondering what's going on. Is there an actual god? Treyarch, are you the overlords? Answer me please. But we do know how Revelations ended. We did move the Great War, the Great Battle, all the way to Dimension 63. Now that does have an effect of its own, but this is what's teased coming up. We have our Rick Toffin from Chronicles with our premise crew, our Black Ops 3 premise crew, in front of Monty's Perfect World. This is very interesting, and they walk up to it, and this is a continuation of DLC 5 and the events that occurred there. This is what's happening in Black Ops 4. I'm not sure if this is how it starts, but this was the last image we got of comic book number 6 of the Call of Duty Zombies comic. Now, Zombies Chronicles does showcase this version of Rick Toff, and that's very important. It's proof that he'll be brought back into the picture, and I find that very intriguing because he's in front of Monty's perfect house world. Something I think we can agree on is that the multiplayer maps shouldn't be canon in our actual zombie storyline, but we can all agree that there is world bleeding. We can agree that that's a thing, but something I've been teasing in the past in the videos that I've done already explaining the Revelations ending, I'll have that link down in the description box below if you want to know the real version of how this ends, okay? There's something bigger going on with dimensions breaking and there being a major fracture happening causing many things to occur. Now what we're seeing here is something very important. This map's called Infection and I'm talking about a fourth wall break. This is the first time it's occurred in the actual game because you see the house, the perfect world version of the house that Moni has. It's fracturing through multiple universes and this I believe was already a hint towards what we're about to see in Black Ops 4. But the world bleeding of course does go even further. The last step we are is Zombies Chronicles before Treyarch's next game coming up in 2018. You could argue that Shadows of Evil, the lore behind all of the mythos, is actual bleeding from our world, the physical world, you and me, into the actual game itself, which is occurring, okay? So we are having major fourth wall breaks occurring, and this is very important for Zombie Chronicles as well, okay? We have a new birth of characters. Let me explain. The Black Ops 3 premise crew tries to awaken the other premise crew subjects. We know that they're trying to awaken the subjects. But as far as I can tell, all throughout Black Ops 3, that plan was stalled. Tell me in the comment section if you think I'm wrong, but I think that plan was stalled at 4 Black Ops 4 coming up. The Black Ops 3 Richthofen instead kills off world-specific versions of Ultimus. Once the souls are collected, Monty manifests them into new bodies via Zombie Chronicles that we're playing now, and kills off all the other versions, closing off the loops behind. Now in Chronicles, this crew repeats a new loop. And they have a purpose, but currently it seems like that's Samantha's plan for the next Treyarch title. But let's go ahead and talk about some of the things we do know 100% specific about Zombies Chronicles. This is the Treyarch description given by Call of Duty on the website. Relive the story of the undead. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies Chronicles is now available on PS4, Xbox One, and Steam. This content expansion delivers eight remastered classic maps from Call of Duty World at War, Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Complete maps of the original saga are fully remastered and HD playable within Black Ops 3. There is a secondary description that reads, it is a content expansion for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and is sold separately and is required to play this downloadable content pack. If you bought the game of Black Ops 3 originally, it was $60, but I'm sure it's discounted now. The expansion for Zombies Chronicles, at the time when I purchased it, was $29.99, so a $30 expansion for 8 remastered maps. This was absolutely a crushing deal, and all of us wanted to support Treyarch 
on this next move towards the storyline in Black Ops 4. Now we're calling it Black Ops 4. I could be wrong and this could be World at War 2 Zombies and another title even so. I think Black Ops is a title that's very famous for zombies specifically. So yes, that is subject to change. However, here's where I want to go with this. I think that is absolutely worth it for somebody who hasn't purchased this. Say you don't want to buy any of the other DLC, even though the DLC is great. There's a super easter egg, you can get an RK5. That's a permanent easter egg, you'll be able to keep that as your secondary starting on all of these maps. It's something that Treyarch definitely put in here, but I think it was put in later in the season pass if I remember correctly, which is impressive in itself. It means Treyarch has a lot of capabilities of adding somewhat of DLC quests maybe coming up in the future. That's definitely something I'd like to see. I'd like to see DLC weapon quests come down so we could just play for a new weapon for a week or something and maybe it's exclusive, you get it, do the bounty, because I think bounties is definitely something I want to see, daily, weekly bounties, but I want to see it at launch. But I can harp about extra gameplay features in another video. What I want to talk about, again, is just a reiteration of where we're at in Zombie Chronicles. I just want you to know that Ultimus, the characters that we're playing right now, they are a manifestation of the souls that we collected all throughout Black Ops 3 Zombies, and they are sort of reincarnated into these bodies, right? This is the manifestation that I'm talking about, mind, body, soul. I hope it doesn't get any more complicated than that, but where we're at is we got a new set of characters in one final loop of Ultimus that we know of right now. So this is the final form of Ultimus that we should be getting moving into the future. But it all stems from the events that happened in Revelations. As Jason Blundell has stated, we have put brackets around this storyline and I'm here to try to help make that less complicated for each and every one of you guys. That's why when I tell you that the Revelations ending is the triggering effect for all of this occurring and where we go in Origins coming up in the Zombies Chronicles version, because Origins is very important. This is the newest version and what that does is the portal in France opens the Omniverse. Now that's probably a phrase you're not used to, the Omniverse, what is that? It controls all dimensions, all fractures, even our own real life world is now a factor, and this is what Blundell wanted. And now what we must understand about Origins and Zombie Chronicles is that originally it was Samantha who opened the portal in France. It was because of that, that was the initial fracture, the initial fracture that occurred, causing all of Black Ops 3 to even happen. So it's Sam's plan to awaken these test subjects, this new premise crew, in Black Ops 4. And she is the cause of the original fracture so it's likely she'll be the one who has to fix all of this. Now I can't confirm that we're gonna actually awaken another premise group. I don't know if they are the test subjects or the subjects that we're trying to awaken. That's just what I believe is occurring. But what we do know for sure is that the Omniverse has been fractured again and that's the new Zombie Chronicles Origins cause and effect because we opened up that new portal and that's what the main Easter egg quest resulted in. But it all stems back to Revelations and what we did in Revelations and it's Rick Toffin's plan, the plan of deception. That's the name of this universe, this fracture that we're in. It's the fracture of deception and that's what Black Ops 3 covers. So with that deception comes a plan that's behind the scenes and something that we know of is the transit crew that's happening behind the scenes with comic book number six. This is all part of the big plan. There's many factors moving here that ex helps explain what's actually occurring here in Zombies Chronicles. Another note I want to add, tell me what you think of this in the comment section below, but in Zombies Chronicles, every time we hear Monty, it's only through radios. Is there a reason for that? I mean, we had the Shadow Man infecting everything, we got rid of the Apothecans at the end of Black Ops 3, Samantha does close her window. I do believe that is to stop further infection of the timelines happening post-revelations. But what I can't put my finger on is why exactly does Dr. Monty only reply to our Chronicles characters, the DLC 5 map specifically of Ultimus, through radios. There's no other means of that. So feel free to do a response video to my video here today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think of Zombies Chronicles and the storyline, where we're at right now as we move the Great Battle and the Great War into Dimension 63. Again, that'll be linked at the tail end of this video and in the description box below. I'd highly recommend you check that out if you want to further understand this video. But let's get the conversation rolling. What do you guys think of Zombies Chronicles and where we're at right now? 
that's pretty much going to do it for me, guys. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Violent out.